Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Colony, a Minecraft adventure presented to you by The Boss. Episode 16, actually, exactly. Today, we're going to be building the sawmill. Yay, because I got all the stuff together to make it, so let's get right into it. So, I decided not to use forestry to build it. Rather, I decided to use a little... I think a little used mod. I don't see a lot of people using it called Steve's Carts that uh, I think you all are going to like a lot. So basically what Steve's Carts does is it allows you to make your own customized carts. Custom rides, man. You can build your own ride. No, but it allows you to make all these different types of carts that can do everything from mining to wheat farming to just all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. So I decided to use it mostly because uh, for forestry to work out, I needed a material called Appetite. It's a little blue stone that I make into fertilizer, but the problem is, is that you can't automate fertilizer production, so the farm would grind to a halt after a while. And I just wanted to do something different. So let's get started with it. So... The first thing you're going to notice is this cart in my inventory. As you can see, let's see, I'll throw it on the ground. I threw it on the ground! Oh! As you can see, it's an odd looking little cart, but what I did is, as you can see, it's listed as modular cart, so what I had to do is I had to build one of these, a cart assembler, which is very simple to make, and then you just have to place this in there with the components it has on it. As you can see, basic wood car, side chest, solar engine, standard hull. They're not too hard to make. Standard hull is just, you know, a, a mine cart with uh, these iron wheel items on it. So, you know, pretty easy stuff to make. So, uh, let's get right into it. So, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to run... I think that right here should be fine. We're going to run these tracks around, and we're going to make them seven, seven, seven on all edges. Let's see, so three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. We're going to make them seven on all edges so the track can have adequate space. Whoop. So the track can have adequate space to move around. And, uh, yeah, so it can have plenty of space to plant trees and harvest trees. So, as you can see, we be laying down tracks, but we ain't building no bridges. Let's see, what was another one? A dollar a day and a blaze from my head. A drink to the living, a toast to the dead. If anyone knows that song, please tell me in the comments section. I want to see if anyone else knows what that's called. Good music. I just found that in my CD collection the other day, and it brought back like all the memories of my childhood. So cool. All right, so as you can see, we've got a basic little layout made. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to plock down this, oh, this amazing machine right here. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's the all-new <gasps> cargo manager. It's a very simple machine. As you can see, it just manages cargo. We're going to change that right there so, it, so when it hits the green side and the red side, it inputs the cargo from the cart. We'll just throw down the cart really quick. We can push it around, but it doesn't do much because it doesn't have any power for the solar engine, and I'm not going to waste a bunch of coal on it. So, yep, there it is. The amazing track and cargo manager! Yes! Look at it! Isn't that amazing, guys? Okay, so the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to run a wooden transport pipe, which, if you ever played Buildcraft in any sense, you are probably familiar with. The pipe system. So as you can see, this right here, what this right here will do is if we hook these cobble pipes up to it, and we can run them one above. What it's going to do is it's going to, this right here will pump items up out, and it'll be all choo choo dun 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 da, and it'll pump items up out of it through this pipe, which by the way, these cobble pipes, as you can see, basic pipe, high drag, they are exceedingly slow pipes, is the is just the one problem with them. You know what? Actually, let's put, the, let's put it the other way. They are exceedingly slow pipes, but, you know, that's not a problem for what we're doing here, because we don't really need it moving fast. We can just have the slow ride of items pumping into our pulverizer. See? It's a pulverizer. A pul- well, not a pulverizer. It's a, uh, it's a sawmill. It sawmills things, cuts them up, puts them in the chests. We don't want that. Cuts things up, namely wood. Puts it in the chests. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you ask me? 
that was pretty weird, actually. I, I won't do that again. If anyone's ever seen Old Greg, I was actually trying to allude to that, but that did not come out how I wanted it to. Um, so as you can see, what we have here... Will that work? Yes. So as you see, what we have here is we have the sawmill... I'm going to check this out, actually, real quick. Can we throw that back in there? No, we can't. Dang it. So what this is going to do here is these right here will draw items out of the sawmill and into the chest right here, hopefully. Oh, wait, we need to put one right there. There we go. And that right there, well, this is the inflow pipe. It'll draw wood. Whoa! It'll draw wood into the thing. So there we are. This is our basic setup. This is pretty much all we need for it to work. Let's throw these oak saplings in here really quick. What the heck? Where'd that put it? Oh, yeah, you have to be careful with pipes. They do that sometimes. Throw that in there. 98%. Dang it. So let's quickly, let's talk about this this little cart here more. So as you can see, it's got a standard hull, which is just, you know, basic hull. It's a iron mine cart with iron wheels on it, which are very simple to make. It has a, uh, a basic wood cutter on the front, which is actually an interesting little module. A basic, let's, let's actually just look up wood cutter, because I want to show you a couple other things. Wood cutter. It just, it cuts wood. Look at that. Is it not amazing? I love it. Pinky loves it. So what you have to do is you have to build one of these wood cutting cores. Now those are pretty simple. Just an advanced PCB, which once again, very simple. Um, surrounded by saplings. That's actually interesting because it's like a bunch of little leaves and stuff around the PCB. That's kind of funny, actually. And then the hardest part about it is these saw blades, which actually take, it actually takes five diamonds to make this. But that is a far cry from our friend the Galgadorian drill. So look at this right here. This is amazing. Galgadorian metal is made from a lump of Galgador. This is how you make a lump of Galgador. I'm going to look up lump really quick so I can easily show you this. So lump of Galgador is made from evidently, first thing that stands out there is the one block of diamond it takes. And then this stabilized metal, which takes hardened mesh which takes this right here, and you need no, and you need a ton of it to actually make, because it only makes one per thing, and you have to smelt it and everything, so oh my gosh, it's insane. And then these eyes of Galgador are no better. Look at how hard that actually is to make. But, you know, so we've just got a basic one. And then a solar engine on there, which is actually really fun. I really do like the solar engine. You'll see what it does come daytime. Oh my gosh, it is literally the coolest thing what it'll do once it gets power. And then these little side chests on it. As you can see, these actually open. Let's see if I can get to where we can see it. I can kind of see it right there, but they actually open, which is really neat. I really like it. What the heck? Whoa. Well, what do we have here? Whoa, everything is bright. It's like a little night vision thing. Is this... I have a feeling that's... Oh, there's another one. I have a feeling that's probably like a Thomcraft Aura node. That right there is what I'd like to say that is. One of them is, or something like that, I don't really know. Whoa! It puts out light? If you put it up against something that looks like that, but if you look it up against the sky... Whoa, that's pretty weird. Oh, that is neat, actually. I like that. Huh. Alright, well, that's kind of neat. So this right here... This is, like I said, our sawmill setup. This will pump wood. This thing will plant trees as it goes around and saw down the trees with any luck. Do I have any bone meal? Dang it, I don't have any bone meal. You know what? I'm going to turn this on to easy really quickly so I can kill some skeletons so I can get some bone meal really quickly. Let's find some people. I'm a bit scared, guys. Last time we had to fight mobs, back in episode 2, things didn't go so well. You stay back, you little... Ooh, you stay away. We be fighting zombies now. This is like Colony 2033. Whoa, what'd I get? Oh, I think it was like a magical thing or something. This be Colony 2033. Dun 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 dun. Oh, look, a mana creeper. They're always fun. Oh, whoa, whoa, zombie. Stay back. Dang it, guys. We gotta find. A oh, so there's some skeletons over here, according to my mini map. Good. We'll get some bones. We'll get some bone meal. And then everything will be lovely once again in the colony. Oh, there's an armored skeleton. What's up, bro? You mad? You mad? You mad? Come here, buddy. You mad, bro? You mad? Come here, you. 
We need to have a little... Oh, thank you. I got three bones. Oh, that should be enough. Let's keep fighting. Whoa, they're like, they're transparent. Whoa, what the heck? Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Is that Infernal Mobs? That burn oh, it's good. It's not Infernal Mobs. I thought that was. Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? That uh, looks so creepy. Did you see that? <laughs> what is that sound? Oh yeah, it's an Enderman. Never mind. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Oh my gosh. This game just got a lot scarier very quickly. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm terrified right now. I hate the new Enderman sounds. I guess they're not really new, but I hate the Enderman sounds in general. Oh my gosh, wait. We gotta click this back on peaceful. We're gonna die. Okay. Oof, we're gonna be... Oh, we have no food. Oh, we have a golden helmet, though. Oh, that's cool. Let's go and get some food really quick. Yeah, we got enough time. We'll just make a quick run back over here. Moving ever so slowly. Ever so slowly on the dance floor with you, baby. We're moving on the dance floor, baby. Something, something, I don't know what comes next. It's not even a real song. That was pretty good. That's my new um, EP record. You should buy it on iTunes. Yeah, baby, we be dancing slowly on the... Uh, what did I even say? We be dancing on the dance floor tonight slowly. So that's pretty cool. That's always fun. Check me out on iTunes. Level me on Twitter. 1v1 me on Facebook. I'll fight you. Oh my gosh, whatever. Hashtag MLG. Squash me! Whatever, everybody. Here goes. And then the moon... The moon sat on the colony. And everything was quiet and still once again. And the lone colonist turned and walked away. Never to be in the colony again. Dun, 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 dun. A Foss Productions production, or a Foss Channel production, starring the Foss as the intrepid colonist. And that's it, that's the only actor on the list. That's, that's literally it, because it's just me, if you couldn't tell. It is just me. By the way, if anyone's wondering, this is the GLSL shader mod running Mr. Meep's Ultra Plus shaders, if anyone is curious about why everything looks so... So spicy. It all looks so spicy. Well, how the sun kind of like reflects off that, actually. Alright, here it goes. Here it goes. It's almost daytime. And it's going to register it as sun soon. Here it goes. Here it goes. <gasps> there it goes. <gasps> dun dun. Da -da -da -dun, dun, da -da -da dun dun. It has power, see? And so now it will go around and it will plant the trees. You can kind of hear it moving around. That's kind of cool. Oh my gosh. There it goes. And it will plant those all around. Let's turn these bones I got into some... I got an iron ingot from that. That's kind of cool. So, now, as you can see, it's going to go around. It's going to plant all 27 of those. Our solar engine's got plenty of power, because it's in the sun. And then it's going to stop there, as you can see. It's going to drop off any items it has. Oh, it dropped off all the saplings. Come here. Come here. Get back over here. Stop that. Put the You're supposed to be putting them down. Not dropping them off. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? We're going to set the green one to give to it. There we go. Now it should give it back all the saplings. Or maybe it won't. Nope, it will. There we go. Alright, so as you can see, it'll go around. It'll. Oh, whoop, we fell in a pit. We fell into this little cave. We're going to have to cover this over because I think this cave actually connects to like another cave over there, which is a security breach for the colony. So let's, let's use some bone meal really quick so I can show you what this is going to do. Oh, they nerfed bone meal. I forgot. So as you can see, if we start this pumping, it's going to cut down the tree, and as soon as it reaches right here, watch, it will stop, and it'll dump all the cargo into there, and then it will slowly, via this build craft thing, there goes the sapling, dun dun, da -da -da -dun, dun it'll slowly start pumping it out, as you can see, which is very cool. So we'll watch it. As you can see, it moves ever so slowly, baby. Ever so slowly and never. I don't know. I'm just making up music, guys. Maybe we should turn all this elevator music and stuff that I've done into a album of some kind. As you can see, moving along. Let's click these on over here so it works. All right, there we go. Now, 
We've got power input coming in from a totally green thing up there. Let's see if we can grab it. Oh, there we go. 80,000 RF. Oh my gosh. It's actually saved up 80,000 RF. It's just been sitting up there working for all this time. Still moving slowly. It's, uh, it's getting there. These are almost there, so this is going to be cool. Here we go. As you can see, the sawmill, it will come through this little pipe right here, all the way around and over, and then will feed into the side, which I hope... Wait, red, orange... Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. We might have a problem. Stop. Wait a minute. Fill my cup with some liquor in it. This might not work how I think it does. Oh, gosh. Um... Okay, well, we'll see if this works how I think it's going to, because I don't think it is, because if this is red, that's going to try and put it into there, I think. And it would try to pump out... Oh, hold on a second, guys. Hold up, hold up. We might have to adjust this really quick. Hold up! Gonna have to make some adjustments to this thing, eh? So that it'll actually work. Da-da-dun-dun. 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 Yeah, there. It's just gonna spit them out. Yeah, it's just gonna spit them out. Okay. Yeah, let's make some quick adjustments. We're just gonna pull these out of the pipe. Okay. Yep, I had a feeling something, something was gonna gum the system up. So we just have to destroy all of this very quickly. Uh, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll work. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. There's no. There's no reason to be of a pan in a panic right now. Oh, we don't have any more cable, so we won't be able to extract the um stuff yet. We won't be actually be able to extract that, but that's all right. We will get it. Um, so this just needs to feed into a chest. Chest. We won't actually be able to extract the sawdust yet. But that's alright, because um, we'll just fix that later. I'll fix that off camera, actually, for you guys. And then next episode, I'll show it to you. There we go. This should have more wood coming through it. No, it's not, is it? Oh, my gosh. If anyone can enlighten me as to how long it takes for those things to explode, uh, please tell me, because I'm, I'm actually very eager to know. You know what? Let's throw this back in here. There we go. Now we can watch it go through the pipe again. It's very shway, the pipes that happen these days. Just pipe things dot tumblr. It's a funny place. Dot just pipe things. So it's got it piping into that. I just realized that. I've been trying to figure out this whole time why it wasn't working, and I guess now I know. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense now. Wait, what the heck? Cuts logs and planks and reprocesses wooden things. Very useful for making the most out of a tree. Watch your hands. Oh my gosh, watch your hands. That is terrifying. Wow. Oh, wait, configuration. Oh, we can change the configuration of it? Wait a minute. Stop. Wait a minute. I guess we didn't actually need to change it, because you can just change the configuration. Oh, it's moving along slowly. It's moving along very spicily. I think it cut down another tree, actually. That's kind of cool. It just infinitely goes around so long as there's sunlight. That's the benefit of having a coal engine is that it'll just keep going around even if it's night, but I don't want to waste all that coal, because what's something I'd like to make eventually is like an industrial diamond plant, where we can just have diamonds working forever. This is interesting. It actually folds it up when it goes underneath something, and then the little blade actually, like, saws. Oh, we had another tree go up. All right, here we go. Now, this is going to start working, see? And then immediately, it's pumped out into the chest. And as you can see, we get, we get six logs per tree... So as you can see, it just it produces wood like there's no tomorrow. We're gonna throw that in there because I got that from a test run of this I did earlier. So as you can see, it just it produces logs like there's no tomorrow, which is really neat. So that right there, guys, that is our sawmill. There it is, and that will just sit there and chug along forever, making so many wooden logs that we're not even gonna know what we're gonna do with them. And so one day I get a letter, and it's from the Foss. And the lair said that he'd built some kind of sawmill. And he tells me, Some random guy, we don't have to worry about wood no more. And I says to him, Good. One less thing. It's Forrest Gump, in case anybody's curious. Let's take the sawdust out real quick. I don't know what you can do with sawdust. We're going to have to find it out. Maybe we can make something cool from it. Let's turn this off. You have to actually turn the engines off or they explode. I'm going to have to look into figuring out how to keep them from exploding. We're just going to turn it off for now, actually. And then we're going to turn it back on because now it cools off. 
That's the great thing about them is they cool off exceedingly fast. So I can just leave them off for a second and then click it back on. At any rate, you guys, there is our sawmill. The first of our, like, let's see, that's our second major project done. There it is. This just adds, like, the neatness of the colony. Now we actually have, like, a sawmill. I mean, I actually feel like we're a colony now. I feel like, I feel like we're a real colony now, guys. We got a stable source of food. We got wood. I think next I'm going to make um, the cobblestone generator. We're probably going to build it, like, right over here. And how it's going to work is it's going to have a stone floor. That's going to have lava and water underneath it. And they're going to come together, and a piston's going to push them up. And we're going to use a breaker. We're going to use an MFR block breaker. And it's just going to sit there and infinitely break it. And then we're going to have so much cobblestone. And then I'm going to take like half of it and have it smelted down to raw stone. It's it's going to be really neat, guys. You guys are really going to like... I think you guys are really going to like it. And then after that, I think we're going to do the... After that, I really think we're going to do the, um, the huge smelteries. Like I've been talking about. Having like a bunch of different smelteries, like probably somewhere over in here. With just like smokestacks coming up from the quarry. But that'll probably be sometime uh, in the next couple weeks I'll have that done. But until then, you guys, there it is. I'm going to run back over there real quick and do my outro there. Until then, you guys, there it is. The glorious sun... Oh, crap. Oh, oh we still have our sugarcane farm. That's cool. Huh. Until then, here's our glorious sawmill chugging away. It is time for night in the colony. We have already got all this wood. It is cool. At any rate, you guys, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw here and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Something you're dying to tell me, put it in the comments section. Go right ahead, anything. If it's a suggestion for a new project, uh, some constructive criticism, just something you really want to tell me, some praise, anything, go right ahead and put it in the comments section. And if you just want to show me that you like the video, hit that like button. So, thank you for watching. Uh, this is The Foss. I am signing off.